The standards coverage report in your Forethought Lesson Planner will show you both all of the items that are in the folders on your curriculum pane, so you could get to all of the standards in a six weeks, for example, and it will also show you which of those standards you have actually clicked into lesson plans, which ones you have taught. So I'm going to show you how to use this report. When you're in a certain course, right now I'm clicked into World History. I've got my curriculum loaded on the right hand side. There's a little printer icon. Click on that icon to pull this report. It will generate a PDF file for you. So you'll just choose to open the file. Now I want to talk you through what we see here. If you'll notice in my curriculum it starts with a folder that has every single social studies teaks in it. It's not the folder I've been clicking my standards from. I do that down in my first six weeks. So that's what I'm seeing here. This is that world history teaks. You'll notice I've got the label right here. It's kind of gray and that matches the label of this folder. If I scroll down a ways, I have to make it through all the many, many world history teaks. The next folder I'll come to is the English language proficiency standards. In Edgeforia's effort to make this report as comprehensive as possible, it does make us have to scroll down a lot. So now you'll see I've got my English language proficiency standards, which matches the folder here. So I'm just demonstrating to you how this report includes every single folder and item within each folder that's on our curriculum pane. Therefore, to get down to my first six weeks, if I just want to be able to print the standards in my first six weeks, I'm going to have to scroll down a little ways until I find that header for the first six weeks. I've made it to my yearly content documents folder, so I'm almost there. There's my process skills folder. That'd be a nice one to print off to keep all year. There is my um, first unit there for the Celebrate Freedom Week and National Constitution Day. And finally, here I am to my first six weeks. So if I need to print this off, Instead of printing the whole entire document that's many, many pages, I want to look to see which page am I on here. I'm on page 26, and let's see how many pages that first six weeks lasts. All right, so if I were to print just page 26 and page 27, I would be able to see every standard in my first six weeks. And you'll notice it's also showing me on the right side which ones of these I've actually clicked into my plans. So at this point I haven't clicked in anything. When I go to print I'm going to choose to only print page 26 and 27. And then I will end up with just those two pages showing me this six weeks plans. I want to talk you through a little bit more about the meanings of the dates taught column. As we just noticed, every single item in our curriculum is listed on this report. Um, yes, the standards that we're actually going to through our first six weeks and double clicking into our lesson plans, um, those things, once we've clicked on them, will actually get dates in this column for every single time we've clicked them. However, there's many items in our curriculum, like um, the placeholder for our vocabulary. We're never going to necessarily double click that one into our standard. Sometimes we accidentally do, and that's fine too, um, but it's nothing we want to worry about if it says not taught. Same goes for those um, teaks that are listed in those folders we all have on our curriculum that have every single teaks for a course. Those are really good for us to have the information and a good idea of the whole courses that we teach, but that's not where we're going in our curriculum to double click standards to make them land in our plans. So even though I may have this student expectation listed later in a unit 
and that's where I've actually been double clicking it, it's going to count it as a totally separate thing up here for the purposes of this report. And the main power behind um, the reason why certain student expectations may be listed several times all the way throughout our curriculum, but they're counted as separate entities, is because we may examine this standard one six weeks, but it may be in a different context a different six weeks. Um, we may hit the same standards over and over, but at different depths and different contexts as determined by the units we're teaching. So we can get more granular with our data if we see not only every date we teach a standard, but we can even break it down by unit and what context were we looking at that standard. If you have any questions about this report, as usual, use your Edgeforia feedback and support form or email Kristen Cavanis. Thanks.